I think in general, if I die young, it'll be more iconic. Think about there's not to put that out there because I really don't well, want to die. Gonna, but I don't think you're going to die young from eating burgers. Possibly. That's my biggest fear, though, is that I die of a heart attack and they have all yeah. this evidence of me being like a mukbanger and being like, see, she fucking died and have a heart attack. I'm so sorry. I don't want this to get claimed. But I don't think that's how I go out. Mm -hmm. How but do you think you'll die? I don't want to say. I feel like that is. But I, you obviously mm -hmm. have a. You have premonition. Yeah. How is it? How does it go down? No, I don't want to tell you. Like it's so sad and tragic, and like. Does it involve drugs? No. Oh. No, I wish. I'd be Are you alone? No. I don't oh. want to talk about. I don't. I'm scared. Oh. I'm so scared about it, to be honest. But you've already thought it. So what is speaking it going to do? Speaking things out there. It's like manifesting it. I don't want to manifest. See, I think that speaking it out makes it not happen. <laughs> okay, I don't think so because anything I've ever spoken out, I've gotten. Got it. Well, so anyway, I'm scared to mention it. But anyways, my point is I probably will die young. I've accepted this fate and mm. I just spend and live and eat. And it's not eating mm. that kills me. So bring on the Korean fried cheese, you know, like I know more than you do about everything. Like I know everything about everything. I'm Israeli. I was in the military. I know H3. Like it was all of that. And I was just thinking like, um, I'm being set up to be killed. And it's because of you and Moses and Elam. Uh, yeah, we did that. You're the one I'm worried about. Like, I just feel like you're going to, I don't know. I'm scared. Of what? <laughs> I don't know. Like a Twitter headline or something. I just, I'm like scared. Because what? Just, of what? I'm so sad. But like, a I, Twitter headline? Like, <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to kill myself? No, no. What? What is a Twitter headline? No, just like, I don't know. I don't want to even Give me an it. example of, of what a Twitter headline about me would look like. I don't want to even put it out there. Say it. What's on your mind? No. You obviously think of something specific. I just just say it. I just want to make sure you're okay. Say it. I just had a vision, like two visions of you, like driving off a bridge. But oh I don't my think you God. did it on purpose. I don't think you did it on purpose. <laughs> and that's why I'm like worried because I had two and they were very strong since the, the last month. So what was the other one? Or they're both me? They're both the same. Dude, and they were like, it's not dreams. It's like in the middle of the day, I'm like, oh my God. And then I'm like, it's like, it's like a, it, and I don't have those at all ever about anybody. And I like literally had had it twice since last Monday's podcast. <laughs> okay. Well, Are you just okay? That's all I yeah, want to know. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm not planning. I'm not, I'm not mean, suicidal. I don't even know if it's a suicidal thing or someone driving you off like is someone is someone following you maybe it's you, you. <laughs> no. i mean wouldn't that make more sense no are you a gemini no what are you i'm not telling you <laughs> because then you'll be like oh that's so you you no, are I i'm not mine. a gemini i just hate gemini so well i'm not a gemini. gemini okay cool what are you i'm not gonna tell you unless you tell me i'm a cancer oh oh my god you're literally shane i literally said that because you're in july Such, what are you what's your birthday july what I'm not born in July. What, what's, what's your sign? Taurus. Yeah, I knew you were Taurus. <laughs> Fuck, I hate Taurus. <laughs> Such a Taurus. Oh my god, I knew you were very Shane ass because you have you're both cancers. That means you're very sensitive. I do know about cancers because like my best friend obviously has Can I ask? general. You should put like a trigger warning before our podcast. Why? Because we talk about trigger warning. We talked about j f driving off a bridge and like you brought that up okay. out of nowhere. What the? F well, how do I know you can? First of all, I didn't, I didn't envision you driving off. I just saw your car going off, so it could like someone could have drove it, like chased you off or something. You know what I mean? Or the bridge was faulty. I don't. Dwayne doesn't die, but he is horribly incapacitated. And then while he's in the hospital, he gets a flesh-eating virus, and then he dies. Well, obviously. His incessant suffering will be a strength. But our ability to enjoy it is an opportunity. We let Blaine die, but then he's not around to stop someone else from committing some huge fucked up act of evil. The kill Hitler scenario. Right? Blaine's last moment is realizing face is gone. Weaknesses, Blaine dies super fast. Be honest with me right now. Yeah. As we end, just tell me this. How long, and just be totally fucking brutally honest with me, is this relationship with Moses going to last? Like, I, I, like, know we're going to get married. Wow. Cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And I had a dream about you last night, but it was about gay sex because you've been doing so many duets with, like, hot guys on TikTok. We we're going to talk about this, but I didn't. And I was just thinking about this last night. I just had such a vivid dream of you, like, getting banged by two guys. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so awkward because I was coming today. Like, it's so weird. On the podcast, can I manifest Michael Keaton, Eugene Levy, Adam Sandler, and Sasha Baron Cohen? Those will, none of those will ever happen. Your manifestation. What if Adam Sandler comes on the podcast? <laughs> Why would he? We're going to sit on this stupid fucking shit tier podcast. What? First of all, this is 
a nice podcast. I'm manifesting that. This this is not. I actually like David. I met him once. He was really nice. Yeah, of course. A sociopath is nice. Like fucking. You Ted think Bundy's he's a sociopath? Nice. He can, maintains a lot of friendships. You think? Yeah. Why do ma- you think? Because he has clout. Because what do we know about online pranksters from the research literature? Many of the online pranksters refer to their works as social experiments in a thinly veiled effort to pretend there's some type of redeeming value to what they do. We know that pranksters tend to experience positive affect through causing suffering in others. This is referred to as sadism. People who are sadistic tend to engage in other activities that are antisocial, like bullying. Do you like spooky shows? Mm, not particularly. Yeah, I don't really either, but I watched this one because everyone recommended it, but it's really good. Some bad shit's going to happen to you. Why would you say that? Because then when you put when you watch that stuff, it's you're manifesting it in your head, whether you know or not. No, I was totally over it. But why did you say that to me? Now I'm going to be all fucked up. Because when you watch that, okay, I'll tell you why. Because when I used to watch stuff like that, like that stuff was happening to me all the time, particularly this year with that little incident with my like stalker. Like I was watching the show. Like I'm not just saying that. Like I was watching shows about stalkers, and then it like freaking <laughs> ah. happened. Wait, since you said my ass was cursed, some <laughs> shit went in my eye. I know, because you're your manifesting fault. the spookiness. Okay, what? Oh, my body's going to definitely die soon. <laughs> That's just bad. That's why I think Moses hangs on. He knows I'm going to die at like 38. He's like, oh, then I'll get the house and the money. And like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to definitely have a heart attack for sure. I think you'll make it to... 38. You, sometimes people like, no. Some Sometimes people like, you surprise the world, you know? Live people forever. like Mick Jagger, who lived to like a billion. Is he still alive? Yeah, right, Dan? Yeah. He's still... He's Can still... we get him on the show? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Right after Michelle Obama. Yeah. Manifest. I feel like Rick Moranis, you're manifesting with that Ghostbusters portrait over there. I love Rick Moranis so much. I used to say goodbye to him in every video for four years. It's like, bye to Rick Moranis because Jimmy Kimmel did that with Matt Damon and manifested Matt Damon on the show. So therefore, I always said bye to Rick Moranis. And I was like, one day I'll get to meet him. Never happened. But now with that Ghostbusters, I feel like you're manifesting him. Yeah. Says James Charles will actually probably kill someone because he's a psychopath. No, he's not. No, like uh, okay, James not I have kill a good anybody. grasp of people who are actual psychotic he, people, and him and Gabby Hanna are psychotic people. And I'm doesn't not mean they're saying, murderous. Uh, look, I get it. I love no, how Keemstar, uh, your enemies are like they're psycho. They're gonna kill people, and then Keemstar's like, I get why you will call your your wife a horse. Wait, oh, yeah, well, calling someone a horse is like, I mean, so he's not wh- a horse. So what do you think they're gonna do? I mean, he's not gonna really kill James Charles. He's playing a you game. Mean Shane. Yeah, sorry. I'm, Shane Dawson. Can I just say, like, James gives me those serial killer energy. Gonna, yeah, but he's oh, gonna it's gonna replay. In ten years, it's gonna replay, and people. This happens to me all the time. Trisha. Well, I'll tell it. you what. I J- called Shane Carl before anyone else. I was like, this guy is like low key pervy, and they're like, no, that's a fucking Mormon family man. Guess what? You know what? Fast forward ten years, and you're gonna play this, and they're gonna be like, well, Trisha was fucking right. That guy's like a serial killer. All right. He's a psychopath. I feel like this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get offered like a spot like Regis and Kelly, and you're going to just bring someone else. I feel like it wasn't that bad, and it tasted really good. Do you want to eat more with me? I feel like I'm talking to a wall. You don't listen to anything I say. Okay, you think that I'm going to go become Regis Feldman, and you're going to be left in the trenches. Yeah, you're going to take, like, I, Justine, or somebody so random. You're... I'm going to manifest me taking over her spot when she retires. Oh, I would like that. Yeah. I would watch. I think people would get down with that. I, w- I think that's my that's my calling. That's my direction. No. I'm not diagnosing him, but that's what a narcissist does. Without diagnosing <laughs> this <laughs> narcissist. Who inserts himself into drama after she's apologized? I apologize. People are getting over it. But no, this is ultimate deflection, narcissist. Oh, James. I didn't want to respond to this because they didn't want to He's give... He's talking t- normal. It's on slow motion right That's now. That's so weird. Trust the attention that she's clearly craving. However, I've never been accused of being a child groomer, and this is not an accusation. Wait, you never said didn't, groomer. Yeah, you never said <laughs> Don't groomer. Don't say it. Grooming is so different. So different. Wait, why like, is he saying groomer? Crazy I to never say that. was a groomer. Grooming is also very you different said than it's just Like, even, like regardless like whatever like grooming is such a whole other thing that's like bringing someone up to be like onision does to like the 17 year old yeah, like, yeah no groom- wait hold on ab did she call him a groomer because i definitely not just i, I want to make that clear no, I, I don't recall her calling yeah him. okay a thousand percent that, that, never that, happened i would i'd be like i don't know maybe but no, maybe maybe percent. groomers in your head james <laughs> yeah the voices in his head no that's like that is a subconscious thing i was like what the fuck like you're groom like yeah that- grooming and well 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 how the turntables. When I die, can people let me rest in peace? They're not going to, are they? What do you care about what people say when you're dead? Because I do believe in resting in peace. What if I'm like literally turning in my grave when people are talking about me like shit? They're like, good, she's fucking dead, that bitch. I'm sure people are going to say yeah, that. Yeah, people will say that. <sighs> but that's the life uh, you live. You just, you came to terms with it. 
And this is why I'm converting to Judaism so I don't go to hell because they don't exist in Judaism. Hell does not exist. So I'll be in some sort of heaven, maybe the lower heaven, but at least I'll be in heaven. Cool. I'm Good strategy. Over the Jewish. I feel like you sense that's going to happen because you said, let's make the Wendy Williams thing happen as long as I can be your co host. So I think you think I'm going to be the shooting star of this podcast and I'm going to get my own show on TV. Like, you'll be happy when I'm dead because Why? can you imagine that front of me's episode the day after I die? Like, you're yeah, going to get ma- all the views. Yeah, that would be a banger, but. That so would you're be a banger be episode. Happy. But I but I would get have way more banger episodes with you alive. How do I park this motherfucker? Here we go. I don't think so. Because you're the last one that was nice to me in this life. And so you are... so so you think that it would just be a total banger if you died. Yeah. It'd be worth it you haven't died. You'd get so many views. But like wouldn't I get more views you being alive? I don't think so. I'm gonna be more popular when I'm dead, which is honestly why I'm not scared of death. I'm gonna be like blowing up when I'm dead. Like I'll be on Merge and Hot Topic and stuff. I wouldn't bank on that. I guarantee I'm gonna be that person. I don't, I'm not sure. I'll be like an Elvis at 42, keel over on the toilet. I was miserable. I have just been miserable the whole time and I'm still miserable because you just fucked up my whole day. And Why like, did I fuck up your whole you day? Because you had bad energy and I didn't like it. Oh my it. God, you're so annoying. She I, walks in the door. I'm like, hey, Trisha and Moses. And then she goes, you're in such a bad mood. I could tell. I was like, what the fuck? I was happy to see you. It's no, stupid. you didn't. And then you left and then you came back and you're like, I'm still in a bad mood because of the way you greeted me. I'm like, okay. No, that's not Glad why. I'm not Moses. It's just because like, no, whatever. It's what? fine. You could talk about it. Go ahead. No, get it out in the open. Going. Nope. I learned my lesson. It's just like, no. But anyways, I just don't, I don't appreciate just your bad energy towards me and when I didn't actually do anything. And if you had bad energy towards me, you should tell me what I did wrong rather than hold it in. I don't have bad energy. You told Moses, I like, came hey, in. I'm just here to do a show. I'm like, he's your fucking family. Like, we should talk about it. You're like, I'm just here no, to do a show. No, because I'm like, not here to get in between. If, if Moses and Ela have, have a problem, problem with Moses too. I don't have a problem with Moses. I don't. I sense it. Wait, Moses doesn't even have to tell me. He doesn't say anything, but I just know. Because okay, you're so, so you're psychic. From- when Trisha Paytas is criticizing you and making good points, it's time to reconsider your life choices. 